Dr. Saravanan, Consultant Neonatologist and Pediatrician at Rainbow Children's Hospital, Banagata Road. They say, powerful people come from powerful places. It's not true. Powerful people make places powerful. Let's all stay at home safe and make India powerful. A newborn baby is a bundle of joy. Usually, parents have the entire family to support them during the birth and care of newborn. But during this pandemic, first-time parents are alone with the newborn. That's why we at Rainbow thought that we will have this session on KGF, that is Kids Growth Facts. The common question after the first few days after birth is, so my baby's eyes look yellow. My baby has jaundice. Is it something to worry? Well, most newborns get jaundice. Nearly 60 to 80 percentage of the babies get jaundice in the first week. They usually start by the second to third day, peak by about five to seven days and settle down by 10 to 14 days of life. As most grandmothers would say, breastfeed the baby well and sit a little in sunlight, majority of the jaundice does settle down. But why are we all worried about jaundice? This is because very high levels of jaundice can cause permanent brain damage. Yes, it is worrying. So who all are the babies who need to be monitored and who all are the babies who can have this permanent brain damage? Well, first is if your baby is born premature, that is beyond 37 weeks, completed weeks, then you have to watch for jaundice. Next, if the mother's blood group is RH negative and the baby is RH positive, then you have to be under monitor. Third is, if the mother is O group in blood group and the baby is A or B group, then you have to be wary of jaundice. Fourth most important thing, if your baby is losing a lot of weight, that is more than 10% of the birth weight, then you have to seek immediate medical attention. And last, any jaundice on the first day of life is a concern and needs an evaluation. In short, if your baby is born beyond 38 weeks and mother's blood group is not RH negative and your baby is breastfeeding adequately, don't worry about jaundice. Breast milk causes a little bit of jaundice which is never concerning and most important, none of the food the mother consumes causes any jaundice. Next common question parents ask is about the newborn stool pattern. Many parents call me with questions, Sir, my baby is passing motion after each feeding. My baby has loose stools. My baby has green stools. Well, is it a concern? Well, a newborn baby's stool goes through a spectrum of changes in terms of its consistency and color. At birth, a newborn baby's stool is black and tarry, which we call as meconium. Over the next few days, it becomes dark green in color and by the end of a week, the baby's motion is yellow, watery with seeds of yellow. This is called as transitional stools. During the first few weeks, the baby passes motion immediately after a feed or sometimes even during a feed. This is absolutely normal. Also, so if you are breastfeeding your baby, don't worry if the stool is watery or the stool is green in color. Some babies pass stools 10 times a day. Some babies pass stools only once in three to five days. Both are absolutely normal. Then when do you get worried? Well, any blood in stool is definitely a concern and needs medical evaluation. Next very important is stools which are white in color or pale yellow is definitely a concern and you need to seek medical attention for a dangerous liver problem. In fact, all of you can go through a stool color card which is available in the Google which tells you when you need to worry about your baby's stool color.